Hello YouTube, hope you're having a great week. Thought I would share a couple of inexpensive add-ons that I've added to my heavy duty industrial type uh, sewing machine. Uh, this machine is a Cellrite LSV-1. I purchased about four and a half weeks ago. It's the Sew and Go bundle, which comes with the uh, table and the servo motor. Yeah, been really pleased with it. I've had a couple of issues. They've been a little aggravating, but I've been able to work those out and figure a few things out. I will have another video explaining a little bit of that. So if anyone else is having the problem, maybe it'll help them because the videos I got from Cellrite didn't really help with the issues I was having. So, like I said, that'll be in another video. The first thing that I wanted to tell you about was this magnet. It's a, it's a magnetic scene guide. And what I really wanted to add to it, I've been looking at a lot of the industrial type machines that would sew leather really well, and I uh, wanted something that I knew would punch through the leather and do a great stitch. And Cellrite seemed to fit the bill for me. Uh, but I wanted a, really wanted to be able to utilize one of the fold down seam guides that was completely adjustable. And this machine didn't come with the pre drilled holes. and. I wasn't ready to start drilling holes in the machine, so I opted at this time to use the magnetic seam guide. Uh, the machine does come with the two pre-drilled holes in the deck that you can use. I think they call it a T-bar seam guide, and that really wasn't what I wanted. I, I didn't want to have to unscrew two screws to move that seam guide out of the way every time that I got through using it. I wanted the deck to be available and flat for, for sewing, and I didn't want to have to remove screws or move something out of the way every time. I knew the magnet would be the way to go. But this magnet is really strong. You're not going to move it around on the deck, this metal deck, without using the tab they provide to lift up on the side and take away a little bit of resistance when you need to move it around. As you can see as I'm sliding around, it's not moving really easily. So it's going to stay in place for, for when you need it to stay there. Uh, one thing to remember when you're using magnetic seam guides like this or putting anything close to your pressure foot, this is a walking foot, so the foot does move as it sews. And you wouldn't want that magnet to be under there and possibly break your machine. So make sure you've got your foot all the way down when you slide the magnet over so you know where it's, where it's going to land when it comes back down. Uh, the machine did come with a, a magnetic LED light clamps anywhere on the metal that you want to put it, but I added a uh, undercarriage LED strip light that just has an adhesive on the back that you can stick where you want it for like $7. So for basically $12, I've added two great things to my machine that I'm really pleased with. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, join our channel and you'll get notifications when we come out with more videos. Uh, I will list the links below, like I said, of these two products where I purchased them on Amazon. And hopefully they'll still be available for you if this is something that you need for your machine. Be looking for more videos to come out on sewing with this LSV-1 from Cellrite. Hope you have a great day and a great week. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.